What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Dollars, and we're gonna be playing Space Marines 2. Now, I went to get this game on September 9th, is when it dropped uh last Monday, and they didn't have it in GameStop, they didn't have it in Best Buy because I was trying to buy the physical copy, and I had to place an order with GameStop online to get the game physically, and they shipped it all the way from Texas, so I finally got the game on Saturday. I'm finally able to play the game, which I don't understand why the game had to come all the way from Texas. Like they had no physical copies in New York that they could have sent it from. You know, it just shows you that they really don't want physical media and physical games to be around too long. And, you know, I, I don't like that. I like buying and owning physical copies of games or DVDs, Blu-rays, whatever. I like to have it in my possession. I was kind of mad about that, but it is what it is, man. We're going to be playing this game. Um, I'm new to the Warhammer 40K universe. Like, I don't know anything about the story. Well, I'm lying. I watched a YouTube video about the first game, Space Marines 1, so I could be caught up and know what the story is about. But I never owned a Warhammer game. I didn't know nothing about the, the series or the universe until I did my research on it. I know it's been around since the 80s. The one thing that I seen... Gears of War was inspired by Warhammer with the armor and the, the, you know, the guys being big and brolic and fighting aliens. But when Space Marines 1 came out, they copied a little bit of Gears of War. Like, it's kind of similar. I don't want to say copy. It's kind of similar to Gears of War with the gameplay. The only thing is, Gears of War is a cover-based system, and in this game, you just dodge. Um, this game looked amazing, and I was dying to get it as soon as I saw it. I just wanted a good game, bro. You know, us gamers out here are fiending for something great. And all the reviews that I've seen says this game is the real deal. So I'm really excited to get into this. I'm still going to be playing Wukong. So I'm going to have Wukong and this game running up on the channel simultaneously. So if you're excited for that, consider subscribing. If you haven't already, leave me a comment, a like, all that good stuff. And we're going to hop right into this game right now. Another little fun fact, I never played none of the Gears of War games. I never owned the Xbox. So I never had a chance to play Gears of War. I wanted to get the Series X. I may still get it. Because I know there's a new Gears of War game dropping. Plus, you know, the BS with the PS5 Pro and all that stuff. I don't know how I feel. Well, I, I don't like it. So I'm going to support what i do like i know henry cavill had the show coming out and it got canceled by amazon because i guess he left it because he wasn't happy the direction they were going and considering what they did with halo i don't blame him but i was really looking forward to that i like henry cavill that's my superman that looks like the mothership right there damn I'm so excited to play this. I feel like I'm watching a movie right now, bro. That's a large fleet. Hmm. I wonder why they denied it. Access denied. Oh, no. 
I'm loving the music right now. That just sounds so epic. Yo, this is making me feel so badass. Ooh. Bro, this is giving me the chills. Wow. He gonna survive. Yeah. He got a jetpack, right? I'm assuming he got a jetpack. Nah, yo, that intro was epic, bro. The music. The way it started, like, it's badass. Box check. Repeat. Kill team leader to squad. Confirm Vox contact. We have crashed. It's from your position. Do you have the virus bomb? Damn it. My boy got a, a chain sword. Armor damage depletes armor. Armor regenerates after a small delay. Recently lost health can be restored by dealing damage. The white line indicates the maximum regeneration amount. Copy. Heavy attacks. Hold R1 to finish a chainsaw combo with a heavy attack. The longer the combo, the more powerful the heavy attacks. Tactical approach. Use heavy attacks against large groups of enemies. Alright, let me see something. I don't like that I have to hold X. Like, I just want to tap it. Let me see. I might leave it on toggle. Usually I like holding to sprint, but I don't know. It doesn't feel right with this. Uh, and 
interface. I don't think I could change that. I gotta hold it. I guess I can't change that. Whatever. R1, 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 R1. Quick punch, R1. Front kick, R1. Hold, R1. Shoulder bash, R1, R1. Hold, R1. Stomp, R1, R1, R1. Hold, R1. By evading, hold, R1. Is there like a lock on? Press L1 to parry. Common attacks and attacks with blue indicators can be parried. Perfect parry. Perfectly timing parries will instantly kill smaller enemies and will stagger larger enemies. Got him! Good shit. Press X to dodge attacks marked with a red indicator. These attacks cannot be parried. Press R3 to lock on. That's what I was looking for. Copy. I don't know if I like X to parry. I mean, dodge. Ooh. While an enemy is incapacitated, press R3 to perform the finish to restore some armor. I'm gonna uh, have to get used to this parry system. Kill my homie. This bolter will roar in your name, Darius. I swear on it. Come for me. 
Ooh. Yeah, this shooting feels so good. Can the enemy hold R1 to knock back small enemies and mark them for a gun strike? Press R2 to perform a gun strike on a marked enemy. A gun strike instantly kills enemies and deals significant damage to larger enemies. Alright, so I could just R1 to knock and then shoot. Hold I gotta hold R1 and then press R2. The parry is a little bit generous because I felt like I was late on that. My boy's armor all bloodied up and shit. That's crazy. I like that detail though. This whole squad been wiped out. That's crazy. Alpha, Hellstrus, if you can hear me, I have the virus bomb. Headed to the orbital launcher. Is that as hard as you bite, Xenos? Come on! <laughs> That's disgusting. What the hell is that? Oh, I gotta dodge that. Oh, I'm getting fucked up. Hold up. I was supposed to execute him right there. Don't mind me, guys. I'm still getting used to this shit.
Fuck. Hold R1 to break enemies' blocks with heavy attacks? Copy. Oh, we got a new gun. Record log. To any Imperial unit that recovers this log, my kill team crash landed off course. My brothers are all dead. Slain by tyrannies. I have the virus bomb. Moving to the home of the Lord. We'll fire into stratosphere where it will disperse over tyranny positions. So Holy crap. I need a freaking grenade or something. I feel like I'm in an aliens movie, bro. <laughs> chance to delay the tyrannid invasion the virus will spread through their forces they will adapt but it will slow them down the virus must be launched into the stratosphere nothing else matters just want to make sure i'm like like missing any hidden areas and stuff i don't know if you could find like loot in here Yo, the gunplay in this shit feels awesome, bro. I got the adaptive triggers on, but you can feel like when you shoot, you feel every shot. <clears throat> Boss fight. Holy fuck! Oh, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm getting greedy. Oh.
That was a close one right there. <laughs> You know what it is? I'm not used to really attacking with like R1. So it's like you got to keep in mind that R1 is what you use to initiate your combos. And you got to hold it. And certain combos you got to finish by holding R1. But I just started the game. So I got to get used to it. Let me see something real quick. Hold up. There we go. Operator shift change overdue. Your tardiness has been flagged for invigilation. Open the gates. Shift chronometer reset. You are registered as on duty. Carry out the officer's work according to divine synchronicity. We definitely gonna have to protect this, right? I'm assuming we're gonna have to hold out. <laughs> kind of scared. <laughs> Transmitting override authorization. Set course for stratospheric detonation. The right of safeguard. Grenades. Seek an authorized Magos at the command console. Machine Spirit, where is the command console? On the observation platform above. The Magos on duty does not respond. Summon the lift. The ones that be shooting at you is so annoying. You got to take care of them first. Machine spirit, what is the status of the orbital launcher? Hibernation. Console inactive for 22 hours. This impiety to the Omnissiah has been locked. He has... Launch systems. The right of initialization must be performed. Seek an authorized Magos at the command console. He has writing on his armor. At the edge of the observation platform. A Magos will attempt to use your key. Doubtful. Uh, I have a bad feeling about this area right now. No grenades. I'm not liking this area right now. What the hell? 
survive until activation is complete? Wait a minute. What it? Bro. What the hell? Oh, God. Oh, God. Holy crap. I need fucking grenades, bro. Was it too late? I'm about to say, bro. I thought it was over for your boy. <laughs> that was kind of intense and scary at the same time. <laughs> done. We got backup finally? Oh, nah. Bro, you had that grenade the whole time? You had two grenades that I ain't know about? Oh. I'm about to say, I know he's the main character, right? Yo, he do look like Henry Cavill a little bit, like an older version. Try to execute him. What the hell?
I'm pretty sure this is supposed to happen. <laughs> My boy went out like a trooper though. I respect it. I'm taking as many with I'm taking as many of you as I can with me. <clears throat> as many of you as I can. That was not bad for a first level or mission, whatever you want to call it. This is the reinforcements, I'm assuming. My people. Oh shit, he got his throat slit? Praise the Emperor. <clears throat> the wound was fatal. You survived only through the Rubicon surgery. We remade you. You are a Primaris now. A Rubicon surgery? What the hell is that? Lord Kalgar issued the command himself. Is he here? Gone. Summoned by the Primarch. I must get back to the Watch Fortress. You have been reassigned. My place is with the Death Watch. The Inquisition can find no stain on you, Titus. Accused of heresy. You have served penance in the Death Watch for almost a century. Damn, you could live a hundred years? Have you faltered? But you will never know redemption until you have faced the judgment of your brothers. Prove yourself to us and know true absolution. I'll tell you what though, they sound cool when they talk. <laughs> Shout out to the voice acting. This is your life. My honor is my life. What is your fate? My duty is my fate. What is your fear? I have done. My fear is to fail. Oh. What is your reward? My salvation is my reward. What is your craft? My craft is death. What is your pledge? My pledge is eternal service. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, this game is badass, bro. It's like a freaking hundred levels of testosterone to the max. You are now stronger, faster, and more resilient. You will take your place as an ultramarine once more. Your brothers will know that you served in the Death Watch. But your dishonorable status as a black shield has been redacted from the archives. Should it be discovered, there would be... questions. Lord Kalgar has offered you a second chance. Do not taint it. What the hell is that? A little angel flying? A cat with wings? Report to Captain Acheron. I love this armor. The gods will be cleaning up bits of tyranny for weeks. Brother, Lieutenant. Good 
on us. We have work to do. Gather the rest of the squad that will fight the deck. Yes, brother. I would so love to see this in live action, man. I'm so mad Henry Cavill is not going to do it now. And he's a big fan of it, too, which makes it even worse. I just like admiring the scenery man take my time have sergeant gadriel report to the bridge how are your wounds good enough i'll be straight with you titus i have my reservations about your reinstatement there could be questions suspicions I cannot afford discord among the men. Not now. You're a lieutenant now. Will that be a problem? No, Captain. Very well. So he got demoted? What was his rank before this? We're facing a Tyranid splinter fleet. They engaged us on two planets. Avarax, a hive world, and Kadaku, which you already know. We're abandoning the latter. It's mostly Adeptus Mechanicus research facilities. We're evacuating critical assets and personnel. These defense guns are keeping the skies clear for our ships. The Tyranids have taken note. Get down there and protect those guns. Captain, you wish to see me. Sergeant, this is Lieutenant Titus. He'll be taking over command of your squad. Sir, I expect you on the ground within 30 minutes. Dismissed. He seems like he knows something about Titus' uh, history. Like, I watched the video explaining what happened. They thought he was like a... Lieutenant, forgive my hesitation. I am merely surprised by this development. As am I. They thought he was like a traitor or some shit. Sergeant Gadriel. The Absolver is ready to depart. Brother Chiron, this is Lieutenant Titus. He will be leading our squad. Is that so? Well, I shall be glad to have a commander of such experience. Is the rest of the squad ready? Already assembled on the flight deck. Good. We leave immediately. Got my little squad with me now. We ready. What is our assignment? The Cadians have lost control of the orbital guns. We are to recapture them. Lost them already. The Tyranids are hurling scores of those guns in great waves. I'm impressed the Cadians held out this long. Brothers Lirio, Altarius, and Elian make up the rest of our squad. Have any of you faced Tyranids before? Only these past two days. Then there is much to learn. What do you think you're doing? I look forward to it. Sergeant? Brothers, we are joined by Lieutenant Titus. Welcome, brother. We are yours to command. We leave immediately. Yes, Lieutenant. I will lead y'all to glory. To Valhalla we shall go. <laughs> I'm ready to fuck up some Tyranids right now. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. 
Mission objectives, rendezvous with the Astra Militarium, defend the anti-air encampments. I don't know if I could trust you, bro. You're looking at me kind of suspect right now. Sir, you served in the Death Watch. Yes. That must have been a great honor. I wonder what that means. Like, what's the Death Watch? I know they explained like the different rankings in the video I watched, but like, right now I don't remember. You see those service studs? Our lieutenant is over 200 years old. He couldn't have been born a Primaris. Mm. You're right. And now he has your command. You feeling kind of salty, huh? You could tell he feels some type of way. and Elion and remain here to secure the encampment. Yes, brother. Major, we must reach the defense guns. Yes, my lord. Follow me. Time to fuck up some shit. Let's go. The situation here has deteriorated. Those foul gargoyles pollute the skies. The Tyranids have the orbital guns. They do. These unrelenting attacks make a counteroffensive difficult. We shall take care of that. Bro, look how small everybody is compared to us. Press triangle to enter fury mode.
Wow, bro. That's crazy. The apes never miss. Everyone at this base owes you their life, my lords. The Emperor protects. We must proceed through the jungle to reach the orbital defense guns. Brother Lirio, assist the Cadians while they establish new defensive lines, then report back. Yes, Lieutenant. It will not take long. I think I'm gonna turn off the adaptive triggers. Yeah, let me do that because I really don't feel like there's any benefit to it. Not really worth having it on, in my opinion. The orbital guns are on the other side of the swamp. Be alert. The Tyranids will be lying in wait. Chainsaw, let's go. Originated. These abhorrent husks are everywhere. Living organic machines. Indeed. Their ships, these pods, all of it. Their very existence is heresy. We shall thin their numbers today, brother. Heavy bolt pistol. What the hell did I do? Ravana, do not stop moving. Oh, we gotta just run by it? Yeah, we gotta run by it. Better of the Cadians. Losing the orbital guns was costly. They paid for it dearly, but the enemy numbers are not insignificant. The Cadian aides will have to do better. Bro, look at the C Cadians and compared to ya, bro. They don't stand a chance against this shit. You got some nerves. You're familiar with this foe, brother. I am. How do the Tyranids compare to other Xenos? They are an unrelenting plague, but they are cunning. The controlling influence of their hive mind makes them act as one. Wait a minute. I guess the other area was just a hidden area or some shit. Alright, I gotta turn the toggle off. 
They will not get past this. So triangles fury mode, I think I'm gonna save that for like bosses. Centuries of war have taught me one thing. Victory belongs to whomever will go farthest to achieve it. Tread carefully. The spores detonate when threats draw near. Then let us take the advantage and destroy them. I gotta start doing that gun strike more. I'll just be forgetting. <laughs> sure. I have. I'm holding the freaking sprint button, but my character keeps stopping. I don't know why. Like, I got it clicked in, I'm not taking it off. I don't get that. Huh. Running low on ammo right now. Hopefully we find some more. The swamp. Let us proceed. No. The swamp will be infested with Xenos. There is a bunker straddling the riverbed. We will cut through there. But that will add considerable time. Surely we We will not trade strategy for expediency. As you command. So we got to go straight ahead, right? Stems copy. Lieutenant, Captain Akarag has given us new orders. You must proceed alone. 
Understood. Thank you, Lirio. See you on the resilience. Do I go through here or do I go through the other way? He said the riverbed, right? So that's what we're gonna do. Oh, we can't even go through here. All right, never mind. The problem is I be mashing too much and I shouldn't even be doing that. You got to really finesse it. Damn, I could have shot this and blew it up, man. I'm mad. I should have saved that fury too, bro. Heavy bolter? I just wasted a stim pack, bro. Let us get to work. Another wave. We can't help them. You will serve your emperor, soldier. Into position, men. Do not let them surround you. Another one again. 
Oh, I'm getting fucked up. I'm about to die, shit. Everybody inside. Oh yeah, we out of here, we out of here. Come on, come on, come on. This shit got crazy. <laughs> Talking like he's ready for all the action. I bet he's gonna cower up later in the game with some shit. Damn, that got hectic at the end. <laughs> I ain't think I was gonna make it, y'all. Come on, come on, load up. That's just taking so long. Oh man. Major Sakana. Go ahead. We met with one of your squads. Thank you, my lord. I shall give them new orders. The way is clear. Proceed. Looks like a slaughter. No excuse for cowardice. I'm just trying to see if I can find some more ammo because right now we're looking like we're low. Melter rifle? Close range thermal? I want a shotgun, man. Alright, I'll use the bathroom. I'll be right back. R1, 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 hold R1, front kick is R1 and hold R1.
I just want to double check, make sure I ain't, I ain't leave nothing over here. Sometimes it's hard to know where you're supposed to go. See, look. Audio log available for listening and transcription as a database. Okay, fully auto close range, and this is a sniper. I have yet to use the sniper, so I'm going to use it. Titus, identify yourself. Captain Ident, sir. Our long-range comms were damaged in battle. They must be close. Hold fast, Captain. We are coming. Damn, we need some ammo, bro. I don't even have no grenades right now. This is like a LMG, the heavy one, the heavy bolter. Damn it. Damn. 
Wow, I'm about to die. I'm doing horrible right now. Fuck. I ain't gonna lie, that sniper rifle got like explosive rounds or some shit because they was like blowing up. Alright, boom, boom. Sargana. Receiving! We have made contact with Captain Aiden. Aiden? I thought him lost. We are approaching his position now. Can you patch me through? Working on it. I wish I could hold more than three grenades, but that should have probably be OP. Alright. Auto boat rifle. A fine gift from the forge. Okay, so the auto bolt rifle is a fully automatic close range. This will serve me well. And the fully auto and the bolt rifle is a fully automatic precision, so it's like for mid to long range. And this is the sniper copy. So far I like the sniper and the the precision.
I hate that little fucking green shit they spit at you. <laughs> Restocking. Gate is opening. Squad, move your reckoning backsides through that gate now. Move to link up with the Cadians. As you command, Lieutenant. What the fuck? What the hell just happened? Fuck. Need a sniper rifle, man.
Roger. We have retaken the facility. Praise the Emperor. Boarding a Valkyrie now. Heading to you. That shit pissed me off, bro. Almost killed me, too. I'm shooting at it, and I felt like I wasn't even doing no damage to it. Maybe it got, like, a shield. You got to get behind it. without a fight it the hive mind the tyranid's powerful collective intelligence not to be underestimated major the guns are in a zero state of charge it will take time to wake the machine spirit hurry the tyranids will throw everything they have at this facility waves and waves and waves second and third platoon to the orbital guns immediately copy that sir Let's show these bastards what the eight are made of! Nah, this game is too fire, bro. Like, look at all this shit going on in the background. Shit is crazy. I think I'm going to end this episode right here. Matter of fact, I should finish it, right? Fuck it, let's finish it. I'm already two steps ahead of you, buddy. Let's go. my teammates like that Without the targeting system, the orbital guns are useless. 
I'm working on it. Give me a second. Crack grenade? Crack grenade stick to enemies. Copy. I really love the music in this game because it makes everything feel so epic. It's almost like you're watching a movie but playing a movie at the same time. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Yeah, y'all supposed to be fucking helping me, bro. What are y'all doing? Bro, are y'all gonna fucking protect me? Like... Are 
Them things be pissing me off, bro. Reload. Those animations remind me of Doom, bro. Like when you play Doom and you see him execute an enemy, it looks similar. You guys were letting me take all that damage, bro. I should demote both of y'all. Strip you of your rank. What a tanner, bro. Yo, you fucking getting on my nerves, fam. Bitch ass motherfucker. my teammates doing motherfuckers don't do shit bro like they literally not helping Fucking antenna. Wow. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, motherfucker. 
Motherfucker, bro. I thought there was only two fucking antennas, no? Bro, pick the fucking ammo up. I heard you for the first time. You don't got to keep repeating that shit. I gotta go to D, fuck. Come on, come on, come on. I need ammo. The guns are ready. Use the terminal to begin targeting. Target Good job. Let's let's Take go. We did it, y'all.
Blew up their whole mothership. I'm assuming we're gonna go to a different planet, right? We did our objective, so... I don't think we got anything left to do on this planet so far. Unleash the cannon. Glad to see y'all all made it back alive. Captain has new orders for you. Very well. Where is Elliot? The enemy tried to smother us. We got separated. By the time we had slain the attackers, Elian was dead. Damn. Something put a hole clean through his helmet. I should have been with you. I only wish he had lived to see that hive ship burn. I feel like Gadriel. Beside Elian for two decades, he could not have been defeated by Hormigans. There are creatures more deadly than Hormigans down there. You should not have let our squad be divided. See, I already know it. Gone, Sergeant. Duty is all. You gonna feel some type I of way. Forget my brother so quickly. Battle map. The battle barge map serves as the center of operations. Select a planet to start a mission. The current mission is marked with a yellow directive marker. Finished missions are also available to replay. Changing the game mode allows you to switch operations and Eternal War game modes. Playing these game modes before finishing the main campaign could reveal spoilers for the campaign story. We're not going to do that. So these are two other planets that we cannot go to yet. And we still have more missions at this planet. reports more than a hundred times a masterful defense my duty kept me busy elsewhere you have an unusual service record that is my good fortune hmm yeah gadriel's gonna be a problem scout recon in that position captain get over here captain i have the mechanicus on vox they can wait this is Nozick Beta 12, a Mechanicus Archmagos. He should have been aboard this ship an hour ago, but he refuses to leave Kodaku without some data from his lab. He's currently in this Imperial Guard base. His facility is here. The enemy is closing in. That base will be overrun. We're gonna have to go save his ass, right? Nozick is a high value asset. Extraction mission. Get that data and get him out. The mining facility. If we rupture the staging tanks, direct the flow into the valley. We can ignite the fields around the base. Boil them in Prometheum. A good plan. I'll give you command of a small team to head the staging tanks. Three men. That's all I can spare. Brief them immediately. Yes, Captain. Retrieve Mechanicus data. We are Astartes. Titus Delirio, make ready to depart. 
Standing by. All right, I think this is a perfect place to end this episode. Let me see if they got anything else to say. Well, well, Lieutenant Titus. We are told you have need of us, brother. My squad must recover data from a Mechanicus research facility in Sector 41A. A large enemy swarm threatens to overrun both that facility and an Imperial Guard base to its east. You will sabotage a Prometheum refinery to delay their advance. We will not fail you, Lieutenant. Let us burn the Xenos filth. Time is short. I will brief you on descent. Brother, Magos Gallio wishes to see you in the armory. Noted. Magus Gallio? Visit the armoring hall. Duties, Magos. Very well. Engage the armory terminal. I will see that you are suitably equipped for your mission. Nice. I was about to say, I want to get some new armor upgrade shit. Indicate your desired war gear, and the armoring station will handle the outfitting procedure. Though much has changed since we last met, all this will remain familiar to you. The Omnissiah blessed us with clear sightedness from the beginning. We offer blessings to this machine, that it may serve you just as it serves him. I bet. Find information about your current Space Marine's ability here. Righteous Fury temporarily increases attacking potential and durability. Oh, so they do got stats. Switch weapons and learn more about them in their, un in their unlock criteria here. 5 plus strength, 4 plus speed, 4 cleaving potential. The combat nice is kind of quicker too. Thunder hammer, power sword. How do we unlock this? Not available for this operation. This looks like it's going to be fun to use. Alright. We could do appearance too. Oh, because I got the DLC. Crux Terminus Titus. I mean, it really don't look too much different. It's just the guns and the weapons are different colors. Plasma pistol. Rapid fire mid range plasma pistol can be charged. I guess the bolt pistol is the worst one. Heavy bolt. Firepower. You would think it'd be more stronger than that. Can I use it? Okay, yeah, I can. Got it. I got a lot of guns here, bro. Boat carbine. Oculus boat carbine. That looks good. Melter rifle, eh. fully automatic, close range, fully automatic precision.
The war gear selection seems incomplete. This armory is comprehensive, but available options are those recommended for the current mission. Very well. My thanks, Magos. Galio will suffice. We know each other well enough for that. All right, we're going to end this right here. Stay tuned for the next episode. And if you enjoyed this episode, just leave a like, comment, and tell me if you're playing this game, what you like about it so far. Have you been enjoying your playthrough? And uh, yeah, man, I thought this was a really good, fun, fun episode, man. The combat feels good. The guns feel good. The story is cool. The, the music, everything. You just feel the adrenaline and the intensity and the testosterone. Like, this shit is fire. It's a badass game. Stay tuned for the next episode. I'm off this.